Have you heard of the most tragic Bible story of lust and revenge, the story of Tamar? In the middle of Joseph's story, after being abandoned and sold by his brothers, but before being bought in Egypt, a separate story unfolds in Genesis 38, known as the story of Judah and Tamar. So let's dive into this video to know. Some people think Tamar's bad, while others see her as a hero. The story starts with Judah getting married and having three sons. Two of his sons marry the same woman, one after the other, but sadly, both of them die. After a few years, Judah meets the same woman again. From this meeting, she gives birth to twin boys, Perez and Zerah. Interestingly, Judah chooses to marry a Canaanite woman named Shua, unlike other cautious fathers. He has three sons with her, Er, Onan, and Shelah. Er, the eldest son, marries a woman named Tamar, but unfortunately he dies. People see his actions as evil in God's eyes. According to the law in Deuteronomy 25, Judah offers his second son, Onan, the chance to marry Tamar and continue his brother's lineage. The law says that if a woman's husband dies without children, she should marry her deceased husband's brother to carry on his name. The child born from this marriage would be considered the child of the deceased, inheriting property during the distribution. This tradition ensures the deceased brother's name is not forgotten in Israel, as mentioned in Deuteronomy chapter 25, verse 6. Such will be the case with Judah parrots, and Zara will come instead of heir in Onan. Onan outwardly agrees to his father's words, but mistreats his sister-in-law. Judah instructs Onan to fulfill his duty as a brother-in-law to Tamar. Sleep with your brother's wife and fulfill your duty to her as a brother-in-law to raise up offspring for your brother. Genesis chapter 38 verse 8 Although reluctant, Onan proceeds, and he too passes away. However, a distinction is made in the cause of their deaths. What he did was wicked in the Lord's sight, so the Lord put him to death also. Genesis chapter 38 verse 10 Judah's family relations with Tamar persist, but he fears for his third son, Shelah, and refuses to match him with her. The guilt and destructive elements seem to linger around Tamar. Further, Judah's plan to send Tamar back to her family fails as she remains silent about her secret. Judah suggests, Live as a widow in your father's household until my son Shelah grows up. Genesis chapter 38 verse 11. The Bible commentator suggests Judah's intention was to disdainfully reject her, fearing further issues with his sons. Judah's wife dies as time passes, and Tamar, now the central character, observes Judah heading to Timnah. Unwilling to be controlled, she devises a bold plan. Tamar disguises herself as a prostitute, risking her honor and life. To avoid recognition, she covers herself with a scarf. Judah falls into the trap, unaware of her identity. He approaches her, not realizing she is his daughter-in-law, and proposes, Come now, let me sleep with you. Genesis chapter 38 verse 16 Also, unable to afford a prostitute, Judah encounters Tamar, who, instead of seeking payment, asks for a pledge. Tamar's request involves Judah's seal, cord, and staff, far more valuable than the goat he intended to give her. Despite the mismatch in value, Judah agrees due to his intense desire. Unbeknownst to Judah, Tamar is plotting a deceptive scheme using the guarantee. Judah seeks to retrieve the pledge when he reaches Timnah, but doesn't find Tamar. Wise to avoid complicating matters, he accepts the situation. About three months later, Judah learns shocking news. Tamar is accused of prostitution and is pregnant. Reacting harshly, Judah orders her to be brought out and burned to death. The news presents two difficult pieces of information, her involvement in prostitution and her pregnancy. 
As Tamar stands at the gate of Adullam facing the crowd and the imminent punishment, she confidently reveals her guarantee, leading to a dramatic turn. She hands the guarantee to someone in the crowd and says, I am pregnant by the man who owns these. See if you recognize whose seal and cord and staff these are. Genesis chapter 38 verse 25 Now Judah faces a serious conflict. His response could potentially make him appear foolish before the large crowd. After careful contemplation, he acknowledges Tamar's righteousness, admitting, She is more righteous than I. Genesis 38, 26 Judah recognizes that justice was not dishonored by Tamar, but by him, unaware of her true identity. The author leaves the story at this dramatic moment emphasizing Tamar's bravery and heroism. In the eyes of the people of Adullam, she committed no sin. The accepted Canaanite law allows the father-in-law to be with the widow if his sons fail in their duty, but Judah chooses his own path. Either positively or negatively, the author judges Tamar, leaving room for another author to uncover his opinion in the Book of Ruth. Multiple connections between Tamar, Judah, Naomi, and Ruth hint at a more profound narrative that will unfold in the subsequent chapters. As the narrative unfolds, Naomi remains the sole survivor among the four individuals, Judah, his wife, Ur, and Onan. In the foreign lands of Adullam and Moab, two women, Ruth and Tamar, play crucial roles in the destinies of the families they marry into. Ruth declares, Your people will be my people, and your God my God. Ruth 1.16 Similarly, Tamar in a different context expresses, Your God is my God, as she ties her fate to Judah's family, despite her husband's improper behavior. While considering Tamar as the first foreigner annexed into Israel's dynasty, she is also positioned before Ruth. Through Tamar's offspring in Ruth 4.12, the author conveys a powerful message. Tamar becomes an exemplar, setting the standard for Ruth in Bethlehem. Here, it expresses both praise and rebuke for Tamar, shaping the lineage leading to King David. Despite achieving holiness unconventionally, Tamar's joy is not openly shared. The blessings continue through the birth of sons, perpetuating Judah's lineage. So what do you think of the story of lust and revenge? Comment below and subscribe for more.